Welcome back to yet another episode of Survival, where survival is no longer really the case because we are masters of our own. I was going to go somewhere with that, but I. Future, I guess. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, anyway, of our own destinies. There's the one I was looking for. And uh, let's get some um, unbidden artillery. Uh, artillery is actually better, I think, at this point. And this Thunder World, yeah, let's get some artilleries in there as well. Because the Unbidden are no, no longer really a problem for us. And uh, we're going to uh, go on a little bit of a, uh, of a journey across the galaxy to see what is going on over here. My God, this general is just El John Elliot, badass. Like, that's his, ba that's, his, that's his role, badass. Fire rate, plus 25. Aggression, plus another 10%. And gale speed, for, in my opinion, one of the best... Uh, modifiers you can have as a general you know, or admiral, really, in the in the game. Okay, we're just gonna jump into position. We're gonna go jump straight in towards. Uh, oh my lord, what's going on here? Oh wow. Um. Alrighty then. <laughs> um, this seems to be very unfortunate. What's about to happen here? Uh, oh god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Um, I am very unsure of what the hell is going on, but whatever it is, oh my god. Oh god, they're all going to go, <laughs> they're all, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> uh, this, uh, oh my, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to watch this in slow motion because this is the most insane shit I have seen. Um, whatever, like, have they found gold on this planet or some shit? Uh, okay, it's, it's currently occupied by, oh my god. They've got, what is going on over here? <laughs> that is insane. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm just checking quickly if I'm actually recording this, because this is by far the most hilarious shit I, this is gonna be a goddamn massacre. Um, where is my where is my capital fleet? It is in position. Oh my god, this is this is <laughs> fascinating for one. Oh my lord! Well, Prothorians. Oh god, they're all making are they all making a run for it now? Or oh my god, um, are they engaging? I don't know what's going on, man, but Tachyon beams everywhere. Um, yeah, this is by far the biggest fight I have ever... <laughs> um, I am kind of lost for words, because this is by far the largest fight I've ever had in a single-player campaign, and it doesn't even involve enemy combatants. These are all dropships. And we're talking thousands upon thousands of... Oh, my Lord, what are they doing? They're just hanging out. <laughs> um, this is by far the most ridiculous shit that... Uh, intriguing. Y yes? Uh, I just can wait. But this is... <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> what, I, what is... I don't even... Like, are they what are they trying to do? They, they literally can't do anything. Like the, the <laughs> <laughs> like and I'm, I'm running unbidden class over here, and like there's literally like all these tachyons are literally shredding them. Oh my! And there's the, even war coming in, Situation. and there's even more over here. Like what's going on? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Mom, get the camera. <laughs> Ooh, an election. Like. <laughs> like uh, clearly we've now established that the unbidden maximum drop fleet is 192 the problem with it is there is about 27,000 of them oh wait, there's a 956 one here as well and they're just casually hanging out you know casually hanging out no problem whatsoever man this is almost several separate move video worthy of ridiculousness um yeah Wow. Is there anything else nearby? It's Prothorian Scourge Fleet 200. 
88, but whatever. Um, uh, okay, uh, I'm just going to go and quickly split all my fleets here just so they can just go around and mop up all these... All these <laughs> I, I don't even have a word for it, really. Come on, guys. Split up. Engage. <laughs> this is by far the most... This is ridiculous. This is genuine. This is genuinely ridiculous. Like I'm, I'm literally splitting up my fleets here so they can be a little bit more efficient when taking down these, uh, these enemies. But my god. Like, they're being grounded up. Like, not, they're not even being grounded up at this point anymore. They're literally being taken, put it into the grinder, and then into the grinder again, freeze-dried, take the slab of freeze-dried Protharian Scourge, slap it against the wall, throw it in the grinder again, and then snort it as cocaine. That's literally what's going on here. We've, we've created some sort of new aphrodisiac. Oh, my God. We, there's so much. <laughs> this is just... This is ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to go do the following. Every single thing in this system is about to be researched by my guys because the amount of research I'm going to get out of this is beyond ridiculous. Like, just surveying. Like, these, uh, these, these Praetorians can't even do anything. Like, they literally cannot do a thing, right? So, whatever. That's not really a, not really a problem, but... Like, look at all this research over here. Let's take a look. Let's go a little bit up closer. Uh, medium regenerative hull tissues on trace components. Uh, yeah, so just some regenerative hull tissue on that one. They're just sitting there. This is worse than turkey season. And turkeys are being farmed these days. Like, this is a literally shooting fish in a bar barrel or strange... Are you serious? Are you actually... S oh, my God. It wouldn't be an A-Spec episode if I didn't lose a fucking science ship. Anyway. Well, at least the torpedoes are being fired off now, so... Oh, they're actually in trying to engage now. Where's that other blob that's over there? I... I... I have no words. I literally have no words of what is going on right now. This is A, the most research I've ever seen in debris on a map ever. And B, uh, this is also the biggest amount of ships I've ever seen. Oh, look, they're jumping out. Are they going out? You guys going home? Oh, are you serious? Not the shit again. Where, where is it this time? Are you actually shooting at something? Oh, it's this friggin' station. Whatever. Okay, so the... the <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Are they all jumping out? Is is that what's going on? Like that'd be kind of cool, but all right, this station, all right. Okay, kill the station and where are they're literally all just going in there. I I am I am lost for words. I have literally no nothing to add. Um, let's jump after them. I am genuinely curious of what the hell is going on. Okay, let's take a look here. Lost. Okay, so not only did we do a metric ton of damage with our battleships, we lo we shot more ships than. Oh my lord. Oh my god. This is complete and utter insanity. Yeah. Um, so we've literally destroyed a few hundred ships there. 100% accuracy. They didn't even shoot back. Whatever, man. <laughs> and I am blessed with... This is almost like a swastika over here. Not even that, but... This is just... I don't even know. What do you mean? You guys don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do either, man. This is just... The sheer, just, just do the research projects over here. What's all going on? Oh my god. I am. Is this even more than before? 
I would like to point out, by the way, that this is a... Okay, fair enough. This is not a standard campaign, per se. Like, the Unbidden and Praetorian Scourge, I, I, I spawned them for funsies, right? But are you actually kidding? This is a thing. How does this even happen? Like, where do all these aliens come from? And why did they just all beeline this this system? Like, in, in, sure, in fleet power, they're not really all that powerful, whatever, but... It's just, I don't even think I've got enough guns to properly shoot at these assholes. Like, they're, they're coming. Right? They're not going to latch on or anything. Like, this is, like, classic human wave strategy that's going on here, but... Or, in this case, strange tendril-esque wave. Oh, my God. I don't even want to know. Strategy. I... I... I I am like I'm not gonna lie. I did not engineer this. The, like this is completely this is completely developed by itself in the game, and this episode has been running for the last eleven minutes. And I think about a couple minutes in, this shit started happening. But um, yeah. Um, I I I I I I just literally have no words. Oh wow! Five society points, joy. Let's get some. Let's get some uh, dudes on here. Some dude bros. What do we got here? They were doing void craft. Do I have a void craft guy? No. Uh, anomaly. Just careful. Carefree. Adaptable. Let's just go with adaptable. It's not. It's not great, but it's at least something. Well, at least we're getting a lot of society engineering. Like, I don't need, like, what is this, ramming speed? It looks like it is. I, I, I don't, like, uh, I, uh, it's, it's a conga line, I'll tell you that. I don't know what kind of conga line, but. It is definitely something. And here's some more. I... Uh, well, why? Just, just why? Like, put it in the comments, because... Has any of you ever seen anything even... Remotely like this? Because I certainly haven't. Like I know that the the script for this for this one says may lose appetite due to you know aliens consuming everything, but I didn't have this in mind. Like this is this is a whole different a whole different ball game. It does, however, mean that I now have time to build all the battleships in the galaxy. I'll do. I don't even want to look at my situation a lot. Okay, let's do it. I like it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That is that is genuinely hilarious. I'm going to need more sign ships to do this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, this is... <laughs> What's going on anymore? Like I've been playing some Overwatch, and Genji's Dragon is kind of like this, I guess. But what are they doing? Like, is this some sort of mating call? There's even more coming in now. They got all regenning as well. I am, I am lost. I'm lost for worlds. Uh, words even. Right, 
like you would think this would be epic. Like this is gonna be epic, right? Like it's crazy town how epic this is. Um, yeah, this has currently been going on for the last few minutes. <laughs> and uh, I don't, I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon. So, um, is there any any other ones that are this, like it's almost like they've gone for a last second hail mary, and decided to say you know fuck it. Uh, everybody, everybody there. We still haven't lost a ship. We're just we're cutting through them like every single fleet is cutting up, uh, cutting up at least three of them a second. With tachyons, it's just. This is like almost. Have you ever seen one of those old Indian movies, like a Western movie, and they have like a circle of of, of caravans, and uh, the the Indians or Native Americans, whatever you want to call them, they're just just riding around, shooting in, into that. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting over here, in a very strange sort of way. I'm not going to lie, though. This is by far the most fascinating thing I've seen in this game in quite some time. However, <laughs> I am not particularly blown away by... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> There's so much debris here. Uh, let's take a look at the other, the other side of guys. Oh, my God. They haven't even started on the main batch yet. And all this debris is all... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, and it's so there's literally no way in hell I could just survey all of this material. It wouldn't be cost effective at all. It, this is just insane. Like we started out the last episode with hey, let's go and get a vassal. And we got a vassal and we looked at their world and all of a sudden there's a giant beeline. Oh, I think we're almost there. <coughs> it's not long now. For those of you that have just tuned in, welcome. Uh, this is something. What, whatever it is, I'm not quite sure, but it definitely falls within the subject of uh, something. And I pretty much put the series on hold for the moment because I am just absolutely fascinated by what is going on right now. Whatever it is, it is fascinating. Oh, they're just corralling now. This is... This is just ridiculous. Like, there is no other word for it. There is absolutely no other word for what is currently going on. Like, this survival campaign started off with me shitting myself with the Pythorian Scourge coming towards me at a super rapid pace. Yeah. Are we the baddies? Because, you know, we're kind of, like, like if, if these guys were kind of sentient, they probably are in some way. This is like, this is like war crime territory or even genocide level territory. They, they, they literally cannot even fight back. And we're just literally annihilating them where they stand. Oh, and we've somehow managed to peek on influence now as well. That's that's just dandy. Uh, social info? I don't care. Well, <coughs> we're almost done. Just a few more. I I I don't I don't. Like, I, yeah, exactly. Like, there's, what else can you say about this? Situation. The AI man in this game is weird. Oh, there's a station over here as well. Great. Star Hive. Oh, my God. <laughs> then again, I did, I did just... You know, spend about 10 hours worth of this game 
fighting back these aliens. And it's, as you can see, it is a significant time in the future already. Like, it took that long to get to this point, but... If they had an army this big, they could have taken... They could have taken every single planet in the galaxy. No problem whatsoever. Oh, I think we're almost done here. Only one more quote-unquote stack. There they go. Oh, my lord. Well. We've done it. Yep. We most definitely did. What, again? Oh, my lord. More of them jumped. It just jumped in. This is by f this has been by far the strangest encounter I've had in this game. And that includes some of the events in this game. Some of the events in this game can be get, can get pretty weird, but this right here, this takes the friggin' cake. It most definitely does. And on that bombshell, I know that we didn't do much this episode. Like we looked at the scourge being grind it up while we were on our way to do something completely different but uh yeah surprisingly different stuff going on there well i hope you enjoyed it because we will most likely never see anything like that ever again but then again i am known for making statements way too soon and who knows what may happen in the future until next time take Good care of yourselves and each other. And I have no idea what the fuck that was.